guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video on Python. In this video, we have seen what is this Python, where it is used, and other concepts. In our today's video, we are going to see about the installation process of Python. First, what do we need to do to install this Python? The first very step that is that we have to download the Python from python.org link i'll also be linking it in the description you can just get it from that the next thing that you need to do is the second step is double click on the installer.exe file once the installation is completed and then we need to install it with the normal processes make sure you have a checked the add python checkbox and continue to install so let us see this installation process visually and just check how to download this python Okay, here we have a python.org file. Here in this python.org, we can see a downloads section. So inside this download, we just have to click on download and download for Windows. We just have to click here. If you have OS, then you can also use view the full list and you can download it for OS and other contents. And here you can see the download is getting ready. It is in process. Once this has been downloaded, so this is how the exe file looks. Or you can also go to your down download section in your this PC and you can download it from that. So first, you need to check on the add Python exe to the path. If you are not going to check this box. Even if you are going to install your Python, it is not going to add to the path. So always you need to keep this box checked without fail. The next install now. And here is how it is getting installed. Yes. Once the installation is complete, let's close this file from here. Okay, it's been opened twice. So, it is going to cancel this. Yes. Alright. So, now, once the installation is completed, how we are going to check this on the Windows. So, what we have completed all of these three steps that we have downloaded Python from the or python.org. We have also double click on the installer that is the dot exe file and then we have also checked on the add python and we have installed our python so the next content that we have is python with windows that is how we are going to check that python has been how we are going to check that python is completely installed in windows so the first is normal installation on the is the first step so we have done it then next you need to go to the start menu after the start menu, you need to go to the command prompt. In the command prompt, you need to add minus minus version Python, minus minus version, and it is going to give you the Python version. And then next, you need to write the code and you need to check it with the editor. For that, we are going to just write the code as Python. And then we are going to check the Python, write the code, and we are going to check it. So let's see here. The very first content was we need to go to the start menu and we need to type a cmd that is the command prompt is going to get executed here once this command prompt is being there inside this command prompt we need to check the python version to check it we need to add python minus minus version so this is the command to check whether python has been installed and if it is installed in which version it has been installed just add it now we can see it is a python 3.11.4 so this is the version so we have successfully installed python now if we want to write a code in python how we are going to write it so we need the editor to write a code so to get the editor you need to add the command as python and now you can see that your editor is being presented for you guys to write so now inside this editor, I'm just going to add print. Hey. 
and now you can see that hey is being printed over here so this is how you are going to write a certain command for python so let us see another command to add two numbers in python so first of all i'm just going to write a is equals to 10 b is equals to 20 and print the sum comma in the brackets a plus b now this is going to add the two numbers and it is going to display you the sum so you can see the sum is 30 so this is the simple way on how you're going to write python actually python is the first language that has been recommended for the beginners to start this is the easiest language that you can learn with whenever you want to write a python you cannot write everything in this editor you can write but we, we can work with the basics with this editor you can also use the advanced work advanced ides for writing python for example one of the advanced ide that you have is visual studio code now what you're going to do with visual studio code or how you're going to download this visual studio code I'm going to give the link in the description again. So this is your Visual Studio Code. You, all you have to do is click in here and you need to download it. Once it has been downloaded, click on the EXE version and install it for your Windows or for your Mac or whatever platform you use. Let's check in the steps for the installation of Python with a Visual Studio Code. The first step is download VS Code from code.visualstudio.com. I'm going to give this link in the description as well. The second step is you need to double click on the .exe file and continue the process. The third step is launch the Visual Studio Code. And the fourth step is you can change the settings if you want about the Visual Studio Code or you I mean about the settings means about the appearance of the visual store that you want dark theme or light theme or where you want to add the path for that particular visual studio code you can all set it when you are installing the pro installing it the next create a new folder or add the file write the code and save it with dot py extension and see right so this is a small process on how you are going to use a visual studio code now once the visual studio code has been installed to write this fifth step you need to do another step so for that we are going to use running a python for file in visual studio code the very first thing is we usually run it in the terminal open the terminal if it is not open so this is the first step i'm going to show this as well in the visual studio code practically so that you are going to get clear picture on how you're going to run this python file in your visual studio codes as well then the second second step is redirect to the place where you have saved your file that is you need to give the command that is cd dot slash dot drive where you have saved it and that is cd dot desktop and then you are going to redirect to the desktop and from the desktop you can add your file then next you have use the command python file name dot py to run your file whatever you have written so these are the three steps that you need to follow when you are writing a python file in visual studio code i already have a visual studio code installed in my laptop so i don't need to add it once again so to, once you have added or once you have installed it in your laptop that is the first installation that you have done once you are done with your installation and other things you need to create a folder that i recommend you guys to create a folder first where you're going to store all your python files so i'm just going to name it at python files and enter it and again i'm going to go to redirect to my visual studio code go to the file menu we are going to open the folder that we want so i'll go to the open folder file Inside this open folder on the desktop, I have created Python files. I will select that folder. Inside that folder, now I'm going to create files. So here you have this file. Here you have, first you're going to give, yes, I trust the authors. 
Now inside this Python file, now we can see here, here you have an option to create a new file. Here you have an option to create a new folder. Here you have an option to refresh the explorer that is there. And here it is to collapse the folders or the explorer. So first of what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a file. So you can give any name here. I'm just going to give it as first dot py. So once you're going to save any file with the dot py extension, it is understood that this particular file, it is a Python file. So now when you're going to write anything, I just give it here as a print. Hey, I'll save it. Now once when you have to print this particular or when you want to see the output of it, always you're going to see the output in the terminal. So just now we have seen that terminal, new terminal because the terminal is not present over here. Now inside this terminal, all you have to do is you need to get redirected. Now it is already redirected here. So if it is not redirected, then all you need to do is you need to give the CD dot forward slash and then you need to give the place where you have stored your file slash or you need to give the link or you can also give the path there say for example it is in desktop slash python files so if it is in your d folder so you're going to give cd dot slash d slash or wherever it is being stored just like this just like this path that is present over here you need to give it cd and then you need to give the path cd means you're going to redirect to that particular path there all right so once if it is already present in that particular path, all you need to do is just give the name as a Python and your file name. What is the file name? It is first. So I'm going to give first dot py. Once you're going to give it like this and click on it, you can see the output that is hey here. This is how you're going to use Visual Studio Code to write Python files. Next, if you don't want it, if you don't want to do all this thing here or if you just want to run your file. So for that, you also have a particular mark here. If you see run Python file, if I just I'm going to click on it, then it is going to run my Python file here. So this is a one example. If you are not going to find this uh, small triangle over here, then what you need to do is just go to the extensions. And here inside your extensions, you need to choose if you have not installed Python previously, then you can install your Python here as well. So you can see this is, I just click on it and so you can see this is already installed. Okay, this is already installed for me. That is, I have installed it directly from that particular website, right? So it is already installed. If it is not installed, you need to install it from here. And then after that, after installing this, if you want to run the code automatically, if you do not find that particular triangle mark, then you need to you go to code runner. So there is an extension called as a code runner. You can see it over here. This is the code runner. You just need to install this code runner. And with this code runner, you can execute your C, C++, Java and all the other programs as well. So this is how you are going to write the Python file, how you are going to set up on how you are, how you are going to set up the Python frame to work on it. And there is another one particular um, editor which is really very famous for Python that is a PyCharm. We are going to see how to install Python with PyCharm as, and as well as with Anaconda in our next tutorial. Till then, stay tuned, keep learning and subscribe and hit the bell icon and please let me know which video you want uh, apart from Python, Java, HTML and CSS, which other languages you need in the comment section. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning. Bye-bye.